Hello, Doug Fink here, Microsoft MVP. I want to take a little walkthrough on my PowerShell AI Assistant module and show you how you can chat with your data using AI. So let's do this. Okay, so if you want to follow along and try this out, you can do an install module PowerShell AI Assistant one word, and that'll get you the module. And we just do a couple of things. Uh, we're going to create an assistant. Uh, we're going to upload some data, and then we're going to ask a question, and then we're going to inspect the message that it responds with. And I'm doing this so you can see how it's done, um, but you can easily wrap this up in an abstraction. And I have a couple of those coming, so keep an eye on the repo, keep an eye on what I release up to the gallery and I'll have more videos but right now I'm just going to show you how it's done but you can easily wrap this into a single function to do everything um, in one step so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create an assistant right and I'm going to name it doesn't matter what you name it uh, data assistant and we'll give it some instructions and these are uh, optional it's better if you do give it an instruction because it helps steer the model. And I'm going to say uh, read the attached files, which we're going to send up. Um, and answer the questions based on the data in the files. Okay, so we're also going to enable a tool there's a several tools you have, and one of them we're going to do, and one we we'll do now is going to enable OAI um, Code Interpreter. Okay. And if I take a look at what's in the Assistant, we can see that we get an ID. So it actually talked to the back end, and it um, created this Assistant on the, on the server, and I'm picking a model that I deployed. I'm actually using Azure OpenAI services, but we're getting into that how I do that. You can do this with the regular one out of the box with OpenAI straight away. So here's the instructions. And then here is the where we set up the tool, which is Code Interpreter. And what we want to do next is I have a file called sales. And it's just some basic data. And I want to ask questions about it. Um, like maybe, you know, show me all the units sold um, by region or by state, and we're going to get into it a little bit uh, in depth. So let's, uh, now what I can do is I can do a DIR sales, right? And I can pipe it into another function that's in the mod PowerShell AI Assistant module called invoke OIA, OAI upload. And let's capture that to a variable and you can see it's uploading with the purpose of assistance uh, that's what we have today there might be more coming down the road of the, as for the purpose and in the dollar files you can see we have an object a file and it gives us an ID and we have the name we see the size and that's a Unix timestamp for the date and it's been processed okay so now we need to update and that assistant with that file ID. And remember we have the assistant and we have an ID in there and then we have file IDs and we have the dollar file dot ID. So we're going to update that. So now this is the same one we just created the data assistant read uh, the attached files. We had the tools turned on and now you can see we added this particular file ID. So this assistant now knows how to take these instructions and um, apply those instructions with the code interpreter to the file that we sent. So what we can do is we can say uh, invoke, here's another function called simple question, and we can take an assistant ID, right, so the one that we just created and updated, assistant.id, and my question will be um, what is the total units by region. And you can see it's asking a question. 
and then you see it comes back with those numbers let's cat the sales again and uh, let's see east there's a couple of them east was for units we had 520 and 828 that looks like 1348 for me um, so that looks correct and then I'll let you fact check the other ones so basically we gave it a CSV file and because we had the code interpreter turned on that let it run and run write and run a power uh, a Python program to read the CSV file and then do that calculation and give us the data back I'm pretty confident in what that that came back with so let's go take it to the next level and what I want to do is we have that data up there we're good to go and I want to be able to ask it to create a chart um, on that same information. So we saw how the invoke simple question worked. Let's now take a look in at some of the other functions that are in the, in the module that can help you do deeper analysis on those types of files and do more interaction with the model behind the scenes. And what I'm going to do is do a new um, OAI thread query and we can do exactly this and what I'm going to ask it is um, create a chart showing units sold by region and I'm going to capture that in a response and it should be pretty quick just to throw it up there now the dollar response has um, the thread that got created, the run, so something is running in the background, and that's the message that we put on the thread. So what we want to do is let's wait a bit, and you can actually interrogate the run by doing a get OAI run based on the run. So let's do a response. And let's take a look at the parameter that I want to do. Thread ID, dollar response, dot thread, dot ID. And we can see that it was completed. And I can actually expand the, the, the dot data if I wanted to. Percent data. And we can see the details about the run. Awesome. So now we want to take the same thread ID. And what we want to do is get the message that got put on the thread by the assistant. And the way you do that is you say get OAI message and there's the thread ID and let's capture that in $M. Let's take a look at $M and we'll take a look at $M.data and you can see there's two messages. One is the user message and then here's the response from the assistant. The user message is what I put up there right when I said hey what's the give me a uh, chart on this. Um, so then when the assistant is finished doing what it does, or it may have multiple messages, it'll create a message object uh, for each one and put that on the thread. So notice now, I want to just go after subscript, uh, subscript zero. Okay, that's what came back from the assistant. And I can look at content, and we can see that there's an actual file ID. Now I can, you know, dot notate down and get that, or I can just, let's copy and paste it for the moment. And what I'll do is I have another function in the module called get uh, OAI file content. And we'll grab that and we'll see a bunch of stuff. So it actually created a PNG file. So now I have an out file and I'll call it dot, uh, dot slash uh, chart dot PNG. And it grabs that from the server and let's do it see if we can bring that up and sure enough there's the units sold by region uh, east was a little under 1300 north over 1600 so on and so forth so to recap all right what did we do we took a file we uploaded it we created an assistant Right? We asked it to be read some, some information. We turned on the code interpreter. Uh, we uploaded the file to the OpenAI service. And then we updated the assistant with that file ID. So it now uh, connected the file with the instructions. And then we did an invoke simple question. The first one was what was the total units? And it came back in text and showed us 
each region and the number of units sold. We then created another response. We did a, a, a deeper set of functions where we created a thread query and we asked it to create a chart showing units sold by region. Then we just checked on the run to see what happened. We waited till it completed and then we grabbed the messages off of it and then we went after the message that the assistant responded with and pulled down the content of that file into a chart PNG and we were able to take a CSV file, give it to artificial intelligence GPT and asked it to create a chart for us. And it looked at the data, figured out the different fields, and then figured out how to do the summation of the regions based on those units and produce a chart for us. Quite cool. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.